Hi, welcome back to Impact. God has been doing some incredible things in Honduras. We brought six guys together, guys out of the village that are insiders. We've trained them, equipped them, and now they're part of our gospel planting team. And they're beginning to take over the work of the gospel. Listen to this next video and see what God's doing in a miraculous way. We've had these times when, well, I call them pivotal time, pivotal moments when he just reveals a, a, another step in the kingdom to us. And it's uh, like, oh yeah. Ah. Oh yeah. So one of those was probably seven or eight months ago. We're sharing about, well, maybe we just need to get some guys together from Honduras. Mm -hmm. You know, guys that God's we see working on them and see what will happen. So yeah, why don't you describe it? The beautiful thing of that is that these guys were just regular men, sinners, unchurched, you know, nothing special about them, just countrymen, you know, countrymen. They were very like the guys that we want to reach out to. The only difference had been that God was working in their hearts, that for some reason they had understood the kingdom and they had, they had a, the light had come on and they wanted to do, were looking for something different. They really didn't know what friendship was. They knew what oh, no. acquaintances no. was. That's one thing that we take for granted, you know. We think people understand friendship. We, we connect in the mind, at the mind level. But really, connecting to the heart, that's hard, man. That's really hard. And that's where, where we've been working on trying. But, but you know what? But it does happen. I, I can so see. So how did it happen in, with those six men? With those five men, you and five of those. First of all, you can't push it. it. It has to be natural. It has to be God. If God's in it, is not in it, there's nothing. We started talking about transparency, yes. transparency and authenticity and, and accountability. accountability. So yeah. what happened then with these guys, with each other? We started talking about that. Hey guys, why don't we put the, the, the foundation here? We really need to be transparent, to be accountable, to be responsible to each other. So you did that for six or eight months? For six or eight months, spending time with us, all of us together, praying for each other, asking tough questions. Right? What's the result that's happened in the community now because of what these guys are practicing yeah. with each other? Yeah, we, we go to this water project in the south and we got all these concepts and we say, okay, guys, let's focus and love these guys. Let's love these guys. And for one week, we did nothing else but love these guys. And guess what happened? like guys come on a few guys not very many i mean i'm right. talking one or two guys actually right. we have two guys there and things started turning around these guys get so excited and they're calling us when are you going to come again what what can we read what we can do you know when when when, when is our next water project can we go on our next water project and then all of a sudden now it's not one week in the south oh no we got eight weeks here exactly. in san domingo what describe san domingo. this whole week yeah we find this community that's very open we tell them what we're about we want to be not just a water project not just your friends we want to be family we want to be family because we really believe we are here because the lord is working here and they look at us like ah oh, well, what are you about but we're gonna get a water price so great no problem and then we start hanging out together with these guys and it's not about work, it's about, you know, being friends, you know. We play cards, we, we bring um, that, that game, those uh, stick games, you know, and they get everybody engaged. I mean, everybody engaged. It was like three or four days we pull out the games, man, all the barriers went down. And we're saying, we're making progress. We're making progress in the relationships and becoming friends. Brody is good at connecting. Gabriel knows everybody. Adolfo is right there. Alexis is very, is seen highly. And, and Franklin is right there. So, so we team up. We team up and, and we ourselves, we eat together. We hang out together. We sleep in the same place. So we do everything together. And they're looking at us. You're good friends and start asking questions. And, and we start developing relationships with them and they want to hear it because I think we have earned the right to be listened to. W one of the main differences that I see this time, Rev, is this movement is about Hondurans, it's locals, it's no longer Americans. Americans do play a big role. The main yeah. role is local Hondurans, countrymen, just like them, exactly like them. You put one or two guys in that village who've been changed by the power of the gospel, and it, it becomes this 
is the gospel. Incredible, yeah, it's the drawing card. God's alive, he's changing my life, and they see what he was, and now where he's at, and oh, yeah. you know, then the hunger stops. Yeah. It's sort of like we push this ball up to the top of the hill, and God's got us to this point, and now it's starting the momentum starting together because we understand how the culture works wow. and how the kingdom fits in there through relationships mm -hmm. and, and not mm -hmm. through programs yeah. and not yeah. through teaching, no, through no, these relationships no, no, no. and how it opens their heart up yeah. in powerful ways. Yeah, it, it's, it's just like Jesus. Jesus was friends of sinners. Yeah. And that's what we've been doing, yeah. becoming friends with sinners. And they love it. Well, again, thanks for yeah. all you're doing, folks, for praying for us and to see God. Again. Oh, man. Thank you.